Hello, Monday Morning Barrow. You may ask why exactly I'm doing a new segment, Monday Morning Barrow. The main reason why, I just realized I have not been recording clips over the last couple weeks because I guess uh, I've been having troubles with uh, the Twitch servers. And I just realized I have caught up on almost my clips because of the fact that for some reason they're not recording. So I have to hopefully get that working tonight when I go live on Strum. So that's why I decided to do this here. And basically what it is, is, you know, I actually opened up my Twitch Whispers. And, the, oh, let me tell you something. There are a lot of fucking rude things in there. But there actually are some questions in there. And I took three of the ones that I, that, uh, the most recent ones that I saw. And, you know, I, I'm just going to answer them real quick. Uh, basically... Uh, the three questions I'm going to answer. Number one is an actually an interesting one, and I've already thought about my answers beforehand, so it's not like I'm doing it live or anything like that. But the question was, what is something annoying that your teammates do? And, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is the no call-outs, everything like that. Uh, or I'm guilty of that, too, but I think that's too easy of an answer. The one that I want to give is that person with a Smurf account. That person with the Smurf account. I don't understand Smurf accounts. Now, I know I play with some people that have to get on a Smurf in order to play with us now on Rainbow if we have someone that might be not up to the MR positioning. But I'm not referring to that. I'm referring to that, that person that plays where, let's say I invite me, three other people, and I invite that fifth person. And we're able to play ranked. We're able to play ranked. But that fifth person goes, hey, Barrow, can I play on my Smurf account? So then, but we can play ranked with the five we have. I mean, the MMR is fine. Everything's fine. But then that person wants to play on their Smurf. Know what they're telling me? They're telling me they want to play on their Smurf because they don't trust me and they don't trust the teammates in order to get the victory to keep your unimportant rank. Really annoying to me, but you're letting me play with you on a Smurf account where you're going to do something in a position where instead of playing the objective, playing smart, you're going to go ahead, run outside, try to get a dumb kill, try to get something stupid. Why? Because it's your Smurf. Doesn't mean anything to you. So why are you asking if it's okay to play with me on a Smurf when I should be really asking you, get the fuck off? You know, I, I, I just... I don't know. That one gets me. That one really gets me. Uh, again, not for the people that... Uh, it's happened only a very few times, but we're able to queue. We're able to queue, and the person goes, Hey, can I jump on my Smurf? I guess what you can jump on. Jump on the bench. And actually, quote me right now. The first person that uh, I have uh, that needs, who wants to get on a Smurf, even though we're allowed to queue with the five we have, they gone. Just so I can you know, scratch that itch. It's just an itch I want to scratch. It's just, I just want to say, you know what? All right. No, get on your Smurf. And while you're doing that, get on the bench. Again, I'm not talking about when you have to get on a Smurf in order so sweet, in order for us to play rank. Uh, the uh, second question is, someone asked me, what was your favorite time during gaming? Now, I didn't know exactly what they meant by that. But the first thing that I thought of is, like, when was, like, that moment where you had a good time of gaming? And it was actually before my strum career because... It was back in my Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2 days when I still lived with my parents and I, I took the smallest TV we had. It's actually underneath my table. I actually have it now. I would take that into my big brother Revan's room. I would place it on his uh, very, very tiny uh, side table, like a coffee table. And Revan and Taylor would split screen on the bigger screen. I would play here and then Clean and Heath would play at their house, their location, and they would split screen at that time. And we didn't really know Kevin yet. We never heard his voice. And then we started to know Kevin, starting to hear his voice. Yo, that was that was by far the best time in gaming for me. Why? Because one, of course, I got to play with my brothers. They're my two favorite people in the world to play video games with. Clean, Heath, Fantastic, before I knew Would I, before I knew uh, any of you guys. That was definitely my favorite time, is playing those Gears of War days. There was days we even actually... One of the funnest nights as well was me, he, uh, and uh, my buddy Nate took all of our gaming equipment to Clean's house, and we spent the night dual, uh, queuing up on Gears of War the entire night. That was a fucking fun time as well. But it was in that range of Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, when you know I would take my uh, TV to my uh, big brother's room and we would play. I think that was, that was easily my favorite time. And the last question I want to answer is, it says, what's a favorite game? that you played that no one else has played. Now, 
the, there's two games that come to mind. Most likely there'll be more games that come to my mind after I'm done uh, recording this here. But out of those two games, the first one is Alan Wake, but I'm pretty sure Alan Wake was played more than the other game I'm gonna mention. But Alan Wake is a fantastic game. If you never played it, make sure you give it a try. Remedy just got the rights back, Alan Wake 2, baby! But my most favorite game that I've played that I don't think anyone has played, because not many people have, it's called Spec Ops The Line. Now, by the looks of it, you're Captain Morgan Wa or Carton Captain Martin Walker, who's played by Nolan North, the guy from the Uncharted series, Nathan Drake. And when you look at it, it just looks like a normal military shooter. Let me tell you something. This is nothing like a normal military shooter. You think now don't get me wrong, the multiplayer is beyond garbage. Everything like that. I'm talking about the story. The story in this game is so well written, so well done. It will actually make you think of what the hell just happened. I want to tell you how it ends because it's something that a video game has never done before. And it's something that I've ever experienced. So if you ever have a chance, it's about a six to eight hour campaign, depending on how you play it. Just play it on, you know, easy, normal, have fun, fly through it. There's things you can make decisions throughout this experience and actually affect the outcome, which I didn't realize. And they're actually pretty insane. And watch all different endings because there, there's an ending that just, it, fucking great game. Uh, so those are the three questions I just want to answer. Again, this is like a filler thing. So that way I can get some more videos or get some more um, recording of clips this week because I'm almost out of fucking clips. But we are still going to have this week uh, a regular uh, video, probably Gears of War 5. I'm going to I'm gonna start making them right now. Probably Gears of War 5 because I'm, I'm almost out of Rainbow Six, uh, Rainbow Six Siege clips. We're going to have um, Rap Battles Part 3, which most likely will be the last part in our Rap Battles video. Uh, I actually might bring Rap Battles back because that was a lot of fun, actually. And uh, for the Friday video, I probably can't bust out hashtag Barrow34, hashtag WDS, oh, fuck, not, no, WTS Barrow34. I, I told myself I wasn't going to say hashtags. I probably can't bust them out this week. I'm too busy. But I'm uh, going to bust out a new nub this week uh, on the Friday video. Most likely that's what we'll be doing. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing these Monday morning things. I, again, it's just a filler thing. That way tomorrow I can get back to my normal shit. But actually, you know what? Now after recording this, all that stuff, it was pretty cool. So again, I want to scratch that ash. I want to scratch. Wow. I want to scratch that itch and boot that person that wants to get on your... And again, if you're on a Smurf account... One, no, I don't understand it, but I'm not trying to be rude to you. I'm just saying if we have a five able to queue, just for example, if I was playing with a four and then I jump in and we can play queue, but then I see the four I'm playing with, hey guys, I'm going to jump on my Smurf. Basically that says, fuck you. I don't think you guys can win a game. Hey, dumbass, maybe you're, maybe we have to carry your ass instead. Maybe we don't want to play with you, but we just invited you. Um, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I do want to scratch that itch and tell someone to hit the bench. Um... Again, the Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3 days, fantastic. And also, uh, Spec Ops The Line. Give it a chance. It's an awesome, awesome game. Um, another quick note is Subseason 3. Uh, I probably shouldn't actually talk about this in the video. But if you're still watching, or if you watch this uh, at all, Subseason 3, if you want to play, make sure you hit me up with an email. I'll make an a official video of it later. Uh... Yeah, and that's really it. So I'm going to go make the other three videos this week. A Gears of War, Rap Battles Part 3, and a new nub. Have a fucking fantastic day. Thank you so much for supporting me here on Twitch. I know I can't stream as much as I can anymore. I do my best. Again, I'm. it's just hectic in my life right now. And knock on wood, I'm doing really well at Honda. I want to keep that going. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much.